backup uh, command so uh, now if I am going to uh, if I need to create multiple copies of the backup so what I can do I can configure Armin to perform to create multiple copies of the backup or I can directly execute a command and multiple backups will be performed but nothing will be permanent Armin will not know that it need to perform multiple copies so if I want to inform Armin that it should perform multiple copies of the backups I need to execute configure command configure data file backup copies for device type disk 2 2 so if I will execute this command this will create two copies of the backup and this setting will become permanent this setting will become permanent so whenever i will issue the command of backup database two copies of the backups will be generated however if i want to execute if i want to perform uh, database backup uh, i want to create if i want to create two copies of the uh, database backup only for today so i will uh, execute the command backup device type disk copies to database plus archive log so uh, now you can see i am not using the configure command if i will use the configure command date settings will be permanent those settings will be permanently saved in the control file of the target database however if i will issue just backup device type disk copies to database command nothing is permanent nothing uh, nothing has been uh, nothing will be saved in the control file about the configuration of armin however the two copies of the backups will be generated because we have i specified here two copies so if i say execute so uh, you will see that multiple copies two copies of the same backup will be generated so if you come into the windows browser you can see earlier there were four copies and now there are four more files so here you can see you can also uh, find the message uh, this backup has been generated with two copies so that is uh, that was the whole point which i wanted to explain although i have not specified anything in the configuration i have only specified two copies in the backup command i have not specified anything in the configure command if i want to specify two copies into the configure command then this uh, uh, then if i will only issue the backup device uh, backup database command two copies will be created automatically although i will not specify two so this is how you can make the uh, armin setting permanent or armin setting uh, temporary so now you can see two copies two copies two copies although if you will say show all configure command does not specify two copies now i will ask configure command to specify two copies configure data file backup copies for device type disk to two if i say configure archive log log backup copies for device type disk to two and then configure archive C H I V V C H I archive log backup copies for device type two I just take this command and if I say show all here 
here as you can see date two copies of data file will be created and if I say this command like this then I say show all so now you can see two copies of data file will be created two copies of archive log files will be created so if I will just exit from here and come here again and if I say show all now you can see this setting is permanent now if I will say backup database plus archive log now you can see two copies are being generated two copies of data files are being generated two copies of uh, archive log files are being generated so this is how you can make settings in Armin permanent and you can do the same thing temporary it depends on your requirement so let it proceed further and uh, then we are going to discuss about uh, redundancy uh, retention policy in Armin. So you can see that the multiple copies list backup summary of database my database backup have, have been created or multiple copies of archive log files have been created. Now uh, there are three types of settings in uh, which are called uh, related with the retention policy redundancy retention recovery window retention and keep until retention redundancy retention which is show all redundancy retention specifies how many backups of each data file and control file date are main should keep recovery uh, redund redundancy retention specifies how many copies of each data file and control file Armin should keep then we have got recovery window retention which specifies a recovery window is a period of time date begins with the current time and extends backward in time to point of recoverability in other words recovery window determines the earliest point of time when the recovery is possible and then we have got keep until retention which specifies how long the backup should be kept before becoming obsolete so let's get started and see configure retention policy to recovery window of three days so so here I have specified retention policy to recovery window of three days and here by default it was retention policy to redundancy one redundancy one means only one copy will be kept recovery window of three days means you can recover the database in past three days and if I say backup database keep until sys date plus seven date means backup database keep until time sys date plus 7 so this 
backup will be kept for next seven days whether you ex execute no matter what the return uh, redundancy recovery window is this backup will not become obsolete before seven days this backup will remain into the database whether you uh, into the uh, backup location whether you issue delete obsolete command or not this backup will not be I uh, will not become obsolete before seven days so this is how the recovery window retention redundancy retention and keep until retention policy works in Armin. I hope this is uh, clear for you and in the next tutorial we are going to see how we can execute Armin commands, how we can perform Armin, uh, backup of the database using Armin. In this video we have just seen how we can use the configure command of Armin to set uh, to make settings of Armin permanent or how we can use the backup command for temporary purpose with our own specified settings and how we can use the list backup summary command and uh, list backup command and how we can specify how many copies of the backup should be created what should be the location of the backup files created so this was all about it and in the next video we are going to see how we can execute backup database command in different ways thanks for watching